About four years ago, I watched a documentary called Forks Over Knives, and in that documentary, I learned about whole foods, plant-based eating as a way to address many different underlying health conditions, all the way from heart disease, diabetes, um, to mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety. The film stuck with me and there was something inside me that said I had to try this method. It just took me four years of being stubborn before I finally did give it a shot. I'm Dr. Armando Gonzalez. My website, drmondo.org, is a place that's dedicated to helping people unearth the research and to receive counseling, psychological support for their weight loss transformation. I mentioned it's been now uh, just about 50 days of being on this program of whole foods, plant-based eating. I recently had my blood work done after 30 days of, of eating this way. I found that my cholesterol has never been in better shape. Even when I was in quote unquote better shape in terms of what the number on the scale said, uh, my cholesterol's never been this good before. I have more energy, I'm sleeping better. Um, I just find that there's a different outlook that I have. Food is now a fuel source for me, whereas before it was something that would tend to you know, drag me down or something that I spent so much of my time mentally agonizing over trying to beat or get ahead of. My mission has been to eventually make counseling a part of how we help support and treat patients who are going through weight loss transformations. In my research, I have found that the process of losing weight is an extremely emotionally transformative experience. It shifts your identity, it shifts your relationships, it shifts your position in the world. So for me, it's always been uh, unfortunate to see that as a medical field, we haven't provided counseling and psychological support for folks as they go through that transformation. You know, as a psychotherapist, I'm really big on scope of practice, that there's certain things that I feel like I'm not able to comment on. I can't give nutritional advice. Uh, I'm not a medical doctor. I can't give it, um, advice um, around medications. So I've always felt that the best way to, to approach these subjects were to bring in a team of experts and to form a body of folks that came together and provided a large safety net for my clients in order to provide the best treatment outcomes. But now I'm at a point with my own journey that, uh, you know, the nature of it being so public with my social media following that I have, that, you know, I can't help but tell people what's been working for me and what's been happening for me um, as I go through this transformation of plant-based eating. And as a result, there's also now some reflective period that I'm having of how is this going to impact how I carry out my mission that I have for helping people with the emotional side of their journey. That, you know, after about 48 hours of eating whole foods, plant-based, uh, eating grains, eating vegetables, eating fruits, a lot of foods that ironically I was avoiding because of other ideas that I had been exposed to in regards to nutrition. Just after 48 hours of eating that way, already I found that I no longer had these insatiable cravings for the foods that I craved uh, prior to going in on a whole foods plant-based approach. So for so many folks out there, I think they talk about feeling like they're addicted to food or feeling like they have these incredible cravings that they can't control. You know, a lot of people feel powerless to food. They feel like food is in control of them. I had one client recently say after a week of whole foods, plant-based eating, I no longer feel like, feel like food is my master. I thought that was such a telling statement, something I can resonate with too. So I think in the way that I try to help people renegotiate their relationship with food, this is one of the most effective ways, this diet, this approach. I think a lot of why there's a 95% weight regain statistic, 95% of people who lose weight gain it back within five years or less. I think part of that is because the methods at which they're using for weight loss are not something they could sustain over the entirety of their lifetime. You know, a lot of people would look at whole foods, plant-based eating as extreme. Um, this idea of cutting out meat, this idea of cutting out dairy, sounds like it takes a certain amount, um, a high amount of willpower. And the reality is that when you're eating this way, uh, it's, it has nothing to do with willpower. It's all about feeling better. You become addicted to feeling better. So I think it's more sustainable because the approach that you use to lose weight or get healthy uh, is also the approach that you'll use the rest of your life. So there is a reaction in the brain. Dopamine, serotonin, you know, those pleasure-seeking uh, neurochemicals are being released at a higher impact when you're eating high-fat, 
processed foods. So we know that. So we know that shifting to a whole foods plant-based diet can help a lot of people feel like they are, they're not so powerless to their food choices. But I still think there's a segment of folks that are still going to find that there's deeper healing that needs to be done. That deeper healing will be really investigating and understanding what is the real reason that I've been using food for comfort. I find an inordinate number of people in my practice have a trauma history. Oftentimes, a trauma history they've never even incorporated into their story or their identity. You know, a lot of times when we say the word trauma, people think immediately to, you know, surviving a, a disaster or being a war veteran. People don't think about traumatic things that happen that we can still remember like it was yesterday. A lot of research now shows that we store emotion in our body and our body remembers those traumatic incidents that we experienced as kids, young adults, and that when we are triggered to feel those emotions again later in life, that we're also triggered to use survival skills and response sets that we used earlier in life to cope. I think for a lot of my clients, what ultimately ends up being so liberating about our work is that they're able to find that taken out of context, all of their eating stuff seems really strange and shameful, but when we put it in context to the trauma response cycle that they're in, what we find is that it makes perfect sense that food's been used to regulate emotion, to comfort someone when they're in a place where they feel scared, helpless, like they don't have agency or power or control or a voice. Even if you weren't a food addict, even if you weren't a binge eater, even if you had no trauma history, uh, what you would have still left to, to need some support psychologically with is the transformation of how you're interacting with the world now that you've lost the weight. A lot of people will say they have new attention from the opposite sex they've never experienced in years or never before in their life. And that's overwhelming and anxiety provoking for them. You know, other people will say that it's put strains on how they make meaning in their, their intimate relationships. You know, all of a sudden date night can't center around the same type of foods that it once centered around. So there are transformations uh, that are happening, not just in their own internal lives, but also in their immediate relationships. And people need support. People need guidance. People need to know what to expect and they need support on how to navigate those relationships, have the difficult conversations if they want to be successful long term. So I share my story as a testimony. I share my story as uh, wanting to, to lead by example and vulnerability um, and lead with, by example and compassion for myself. My journey is not perfect, but I want people to know that there is this opportunity out there for them to feel like they're in control of their health again, to feel like they don't have to feel like food is their master, as some, some clients mentioned to me. I want people to know that they can shift their health, they can rewrite their story. And I think that whole foods, plant-based eating is going to be one of the biggest advancements we have in helping people do just that.